Hello, it is Brew Day here. We are at the Wild Beer Company in cloudy Somerset. We are brewing the first ever beer designed to go with sausage rolls. What's happening, Mike? Oh, it's going to be a crazy day. Uh, we are, there's something to do with barrel making at some point. There are going to be hot rocks involved. And at some point we're going to make a beer. There's, there's so much going on that right now we don't really understand. What we're doing today, well, we're going to be making a beer and we're going to mash all of the grain inside the barrel and then we're going to maintain that heat, but we're not just going to maintain that heat inside the barrel with the grains. We're going to be bringing the heat up and heating it up by a medieval technique and that's using uh, bricks and um, stones. We're going to take the head off this barrel so we can use it as a mash tun. So this barrel up until a few days ago, um, it had some of our cool shit beer in it and that's been in there for four years. So um, we'll see what the state's like inside. And what was in this barrel originally? So it would have been a French red wine barrel. French red wine barrel? Yeah. That... Oh, it, it, yeah, it smells, it smells incredible. So far we've removed the one side of the hoops from the belly up to the crows and taken the head out. And now we're gonna re-tighten the hoops to make the barrel watertight again, but to have the big open space at the top. Now, uh, yeah, more on that, or? Um, if you just work your way around. So yeah, yeah. Uh, how, how was your first cooping experience? Absolutely, cooped out the park. And your fingers are still attached? Yeah. <laughs> All good, yeah. You've got more than me. Here it says Albert something damaged <laughs> Glastonbury. Now Glastonbury, when the Glastonbury Music Festival is on, we can actually feel the bass pumping. Boom, boom, boom. So Glastonbury is really close, and these bricks are 80, 100 years old, or yeah. more. Like yeah. at least that is what we were yeah. told. Yeah. 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 Well, so so this is just pure Glastonbury Somerset clay hammered together and fired in an oven. We're doing a big batch of beer today, we're doing about 6,000 litres um, on the bigger bigger kit. And our, our little brew is going to get blended into that big brew, um, so we're going to get the essence of that Somerset in there. In here I'm going to do what seems like a profoundly stupid thing to do, is shove my hand in the fire, and we'll see how hot the rocks are. God. Right, quick. How hot is it? Oh, <laughs> 440 degrees. 440 degree rock. I've held this in my hand for, oh, okay, that's quite hot. Right, so in here we've got hot water, and this is what we're gonna mash with. So this is our hot liquor tank for the moment. And then, so we're gonna scoop that out with a bucket and pour the grain into our mash tub, which we made earlier. We'll let that settle for a bit and then we're gonna start putting the rocks into the mash. Um, yeah, so the aim is to get the color, to get the flavors from the hot rocks into the malt. Once that's done, we'll put that mash onto the other mash of the big brew and um, sparge over that. Ooh, 
do this one. Thank you. So now. You can see it burning there. That burning there is was not there before. And that is the malt burning on, which is gonna give us give us some good character. What we do is authentic. When we say we barrel age something, we barrel age something. When we say we're going to put hot rocks in a beer, we spend uh, hours and hours working out exactly how we're going to put hot rocks in a beer so we can put hot rocks in a beer. And uh, the flavours we create and the characters we create in our beers are never compromised. We do it in the best way we can and it's all about flavour first. This is Somerset Apple Juice, oh. celebrating the West Country, uh, making the perfect flavors with sausage roll. Uh, we get them from a local cider producer who presses them. We always give him back the boxes so he can press them again and use, we use that, that stuff. That's why the boxes are so mangled. But this is zingy, it's sharp, but it's definitely drinkable. This is like drinking juice, not cider. And this is, at uh, risk I'm really stupid, this is going to basically add that sort of little apple flavour to our mm. beer to make it sausage roll perfect. Oh man. Um, yes. work out who has to clean out the mash tun, which I'm not afraid of because I don't mind hard work unlike Mike. We've been given a challenge by the good people here at Wild Beer to drink this finest quality, perfect barrel aged beers that have gone rogue and turned into vinegar, I believe. So we're going right to left and whoever finishes the vinegar beers <laughs> first doesn't have to get out the mash tun. Go. Oh. So that is the brewing done and another successful brew day for Bin Day Brewing Company. Uh, lovely day out, great hospitality, enjoyed eating pizza as well. Uh, the beer is available now, so look down below in the description there. I'm holding the camera so I can't point. Thanks, Mike. Uh, down there, and you'll be able to get the details for how to get hold of it. Fantastic. Go out and get some, give it a go. It's going to be fantastic. And obviously have a sausage roll with it. Make sure you've got one of those handy. That's very important.